it's you know, grown even even before the recession really ended. Um, why do these rebates rather than uh, the amount of right now? Well, the the money that allowed us to do today's rebate and dividend announcement didn't come from overcharging employers. It came from investment returns that well exceeded the targets that we had put in place. You know, we continue to set the premium rates on an annual basis based on the number of accidents and the cost of those accidents that we see coming forward in Ohio workplaces. So uh, we'll continue to, to probably lower premium rates as we've done three of the last four years for private sector employers as we see the trend continuing to go down. But today is about a dividend back to employers based on those investment returns. Could you talk about the fact that this is a one-time thing and that possibly businesses should not be looking at this as the annual thing? Well, that's absolutely right. Because the other problem, if we did it as a rate thing, is then you'd have to adjust rates up if investment return didn't meet expectations. So today is a dividend that we all should celebrate. But it is, as you mentioned, a one-time event. Uh, businesses should not plan on this. They shouldn't put it in their, their long-term plan of how to run the business. But they should do with it, what many of them did last time around. Invest in safety, invest in equipment, maybe hire a few employees, bankroll themselves into the future. Those are the kind of things that we hope they do with it. Uh, the governor said, you know, you technically could have done more. You said you've exceeded targets. So there's a surplus over what you expected in your investments. How much was the total surplus? It was obviously more than a bit. Well, well our, the, the net asset position, which are those dollars above sort of the one-to-one -one ratio that you might expect, is $7.7 billion. 7.7 .7 billion, and today, and we try to stay in a range of assets to liabilities between 1.15 and 1.35. Uh, today we sit over 1.5, and so today's announcement will bring us back into the 1.43 or 4 range. Uh, so it's a significant amount of money that we're going to send back as rebates, um, but as the governor said, we think it's a prudent amount. I also should mention that this year we're going through an asset liability study where we look to make sure that our investments are matching the liabilities that we have in terms of duration and type. We also continue to look on an annual basis, and we're in the middle of this study, of looking at the reserves to make sure we've adequately reserved for the injuries and the costs that are in the system. So one reason we didn't want to go overboard today is we want to finish those prudent reviews and then be able to come in and adjust again as, as time goes along. I didn't, I didn't quite follow. Uh, so you, you're given a billion back. Yes, sir. And, and so uh, there was a, a greater surplus. I mean, what was that? What was the total surplus based on your original target? Well, the assets over liabilities today is seven point seven billion. Million. Billion. Billion. Okay, that that's the and <laughs> historically, how does that compare to where the BWC was in the past? Well, he, 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 historically, you're always over the one to one ratio. I mean, you're in financial distress if you're at a one to one ratio. Um, it has varied over time as market conditions have changed. When the board set this ratio that I just described to you back in 2008, they were below the 1.15. There was a time when that figure of 7.7 .7 billion, less than 10 years ago, was 400 million. And so it tells you that uh, not only has the market changed, but we've been able to manage the costs, the medical costs, as the governor mentioned, going forward. It's the, the board is looking at lowering that ratio, though, right? So it wouldn't be such a buildup. There's there's ongoing discussion about what the appropriate range is. And as you know, Ohio is a unique system, and so there aren't good peers always to benchmark that type of a range. You previously said that you had set aside the money that is owed as a part of this uh, lawsuit that, uh, that is out there. And it sounds like the settlement that uh, you've worked out is a lot less than what was originally expected. Does that money play into this, these reserves at all? Uh, that figure is not in the $7.7 .7 billion, but it is likely that a few dollars, maybe as much as $400 million, will return to the state insurance fund, but it's not in the figures I'm sharing with you today. And when it does come back in, what fund is it going to? Into state insurance fund, okay. and, and it will enhance that number that we're talking about today. So, Are you able to, right. so you could conceivably be above $8 billion. Well, prior to this announcement, I mean, once we do the billion dollars back, and I do want to emphasize that, that that figure varies every single day because we mark our investments to market on a daily basis. So, so the fund varies as much as $100 million or more on a daily basis.
Are you able to put a, you know, average business gets this much back? I mean, are you able to put some kind of average on it to give them a business at, at idea? At some point we will. The last time when we announced this, it was about $4,000 average, average across all. Uh, the last time the smallest was $5 and the largest was in excess of 8 uh, We believe, since this is almost the same amount, it's slightly higher this time. Uh, we're going to do 60%, as I mentioned. Last time it was 56%. So it's going to be something in that range, $5 up to, we believe, a little over 8 on an individual basis. And then I, I haven't calculated the average yet. And is that just a check that these... They'll get a check. Uh, the board will review this in August. They'll then have a second read in September. Assuming they approve it, checks will begin to flow as early as October. Will these checks be arriving at roughly the same time that these businesses are getting their credits from the switching of the uh, premium system? Uh, no. That, that process will start taking place in the spring and summer of next year. And I do want to emphasize that is not going to be a check process. They're going to receive a credit uh, retrospectively covering their claims liability and then moving them forward. So this will be a physical check. That will be a credit on their bill. A couple of factual things.